Brady, what's the most striking change this year from years past? What what have what feels like has changed the most? Um, well, it's just always there's always a rising optimism, I think, especially as the economy has recovered mm -hmm. from near doom collapse. Mm -hmm. uh, and then also just I think the promise of mobile has finally happened. Right. Um, the promise of location is now here. Mm. The fact that you know where your users are, they're com comfortable ish mm -hmm. with sharing it. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can take advantage of that. And then also the new capabilities of HTML5, mm -hmm. I think, are giving rise to a lot of new web apps. And that was a session that we had today and a number of sessions later this week about how to use HTML5 properly, how can, what can you use it for, how many users are you leaving behind mm -hmm. as you make that jump, mm -hmm. and what new web applications are going to be possible. Okay. Um, Sarah, are there any particular keynotes or sessions that you're looking forward to? You don't have to play favorites or anything. <laughs> you can just call them out. Um, gosh, there's so many. But let's see. Um, well, one of the things that I think is going to be pretty interesting in the keynotes this year is we've got a couple of cool demos. Mm. Um, we've got Ge Wang, who's going to demonstrate how you can use the iPhone as a musical instrument. Oh, I saw that. And yeah. it's yeah. kind of mind-blowing. And, yeah. and we're, you know, we're not um, evangelizing about the iPhone per se or about... Uh, you know, digital music. Mm -hmm. But what's cool is that it really shows a next generation of things you can do with the stuff that's in your pocket. Sure. Um, and that's pretty exciting to see. Um, and Gub being the CEO of Sonic Mule, mm -hmm. Smule, and the creator of Ocarina. Mm -hmm. and so he'll be doing performances based on that. Oh, no kidding. That's yeah. Part of Kena, huh? Yeah, right. Yeah. So that'll be a little different. And sure, yeah. I think yeah. also um, it'll be kind of uh, eye opening for people. Yeah. I mean, I. I'd been familiar with iPhones for a long time when I saw him play one. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, this thing does some stuff I hadn't quite understood before. Right. Yeah, that wasn't exactly at the launch in 07, right? Yeah. You have Steve Jobs playing, right. playing as an instrument. Right. <laughs> right. Brady, how about you? Are there any particular sessions or keynotes that you're looking forward to? Well, you know, along those same lines, uh, we have another demo on, and this one's on Wednesday, where mm -hmm. we're having the Parrot augmented reality drone mm. here and it's a helicopter that you control through your iPhone and eventually Android. <laughs> and so, you know, one of the things that mobile has done is it gives us a chance to extend out to the real world. Mm -hmm. And so they're really taking those games that you play mm. and turning them into real life things. Mm -hmm. But then also adding on a component of the video game back into it by using augmented reality. Right. So you can set up a kind of a field for yourself of different robots that shoot your physical helicopter <laughs> virtually. Sure. And it's pretty fun. Yeah, I imagine.